Welcome to the module of Analog Communications AC. Here the target audience are students of third year BTEC, third BTEC, first SEM, and it is for mainly AC student, electronics and communication students, and it is part of their curriculum. Analog Communications Overview, Course Overview. In this course, uh, we will provide a foundation for the students to understand how information flows from one point to another point at most basic level. We start with brief review of four year series and transform recap review what they have already studied in their earlier classes when they are in lower uh, classes like second year in signals and systems and basic analog communication systems in like AM FM systems are covered in this modules. The objective of analog communication course is to make students familiarize with the functions of oscillators, filters, amplifiers and how they are helpful in modulation, modulations called as modulators and detectors which are called as demodulators. And various forms of analog communication are AM amplitude modulation, FM frequency modulation, PM pulse modulation or phase modulation, SSB and PLL etc. Analyze and design basic communication systems, particularly with application of noise-free analog communication. So these are the course overview which a student is learning in this course. Once he uh, finishes this course, he will learn all this type, all these uh, parameters. Course objectives. So once uh, a student completes this course, he must be able to understand what is the mathematical understanding of communication systems, how to make a mathematical model how to analyze and design basic communication systems particularly with the application of noise free analog communications and how to compare and contrast strengths and weaknesses of various communication systems techniques for constructing mathematical proofs that is the derivations uh, in understanding AM and FMs the student will know and will able to use this mathematical induction to establish other con re recurrence relations. The student will know basic concepts, algorithms and problems which are associated with this course. Right. So if we start the introduction of a communication system, a communication system involves mainly five blocks, a source, a transmitter, a channel, a receiver and a recipient which is nothing but a uh, detect de, de, de destination recipient is called as a destination so information is created from the source and it is transmitted through transmitter with a transmitting antenna and this channel could be a wired or wireless in case of wired it could be a two cable a two wire cable a coaxial cable optical cable in case of wireless it may be a free space then receiver does the exact topo operation what a transmitter does and the output of receiver is given to the destination so these are the minimum bu building blocks of a communication system to transmit information from source to receiver so in order to transmit these uh, signals we go for different different modulation techniques like am amplitude modulation fm pulse modulation pm phase modulation FM sorry FM here FM is frequency modulation PM phase modulation and pulse modulation modulation is a process of superimposing a low frequency signal on a high frequency carrier the meaning is that in order to transmit low frequency signals it has to be superimposed on a very high frequency signal called as carrier signal and thus the information is transferred from one point to another point need for modulation need for modulation there are many reasons why we need for modulation one of such uh, modulation one of the need for such modulation is in order to decrease the height of transmitter in the same way in order to increase uh, or in order to uh, make the uh, different signals uh, interfer interfering from each other and in order to make uh, use of spectrum efficiently types of modulations in types of modulations we'll be seeing there are different types of modulations like 
uh, linear modulation which we call it has amplitude modulation in linear modulation amplitude modulation again we have dsb sca mssb vsb depending upon the different different modulation requirements then frequency modulation frequency modulation is mainly for changing the frequency so here we will be saying modulation is nothing but changing one of the parameter of a carrier with respect to the parameter of the low frequency signal message signal 